Let's take a moment we'll walk through the EQ settings on Pioneer's DEHX 4800BT. So from any source, like the AM FM radio source, we'll press in on the volume control and roll along here until we find the audio menu. Here's audio, and we'll press enter. And let's roll along here until we find the EQ settings. There we go. EQ settings and press enter there. The first thing I see here are some equalizer presets. This is the powerful curve. We have the natural curve, vocal curve, two customs, and we have a flat curve and the super bass curve and back around to the powerful curve. So if one of those presets works very good for you, you for like for example powerful, you can press enter and that EQ curve will be set into the system and if that works for you, they don't have to make any additional changes. If you'd like to make some adjustments, you can do that too by pressing in on the volume control and we'll roll along here until we find custom number 1 and we'll press enter. Here we can work with the EQ settings. This is the 80 hertz setting. We also have 250, 800, 2.5K, and uh, back down and, and 8K, then back around now to 80 Hertz. So we have a five band EQ to work with. Once we've chosen a frequency, we press enter and we can boost or cut that particular frequency. So we'll make 80 Hertz a minus four. We'll press enter and we'll go over to uh, 2.5K, press enter there, and we'll boost that one up a little bit. So there we've made a custom EQ number one settings. Custom EQ number one is a independent EQ setting for each source. So custom EQ number one works independently on the CD source, USB source, AM FM radio, and anything that is operating through Bluetooth. Once you've made those adjustments, you can go back and roll over to custom setting number two. Custom setting number two works exactly the same way. We can choose a crossover point. For example, we'll choose 800 hertz and boost that up. And we will choose uh, 250 hertz and we'll cut that one back. So now we've made uh, uh, custom EQ settings number two. And once you're done with that, you can hit the band button to go back. Remember that custom EQ number two is a shared EQ setting among all sources. They all share custom EQ number two. At any time, you can press the band button here to escape.